everybody. Welcome again to Country Boy Cooking with Marshall. I got one today we're going to revisit that Mama made a long time ago on the show, her cornbread. And I'm going to be showing y'all her little cornbread pan she used. I'm 55 years old now, and this pan right here is 55 years old. <laughs> I'll put a link down in the comments, let you go over on YouTube and watch Mama cook this. And she mentions this pan, and at the time she said, my son is 52 years old. And this pan is 52 years old. So that's three years ago, but this is the pan Mama used. We're going to be using it. And I'm going to show you how to make her cornbread today on Country Boy Cooking with Marshall. Okay, let's get this started, everybody. I'm using white lily buttermilk self-rising cornmeal mix. See that? Did you know it says cornmeal mix? Because it's not all cornmeal. It's got flour and stuff in it. But this is what I'm using. I'm going to be using Crisco shortening. And we're going to have an egg and, of course, milk in this. That's all there are to this, everybody. Let me show you how to put this together. First thing you want to do is get your cast iron pan. And, by the way, this is a 10-inch cast iron pan. It sort of looks bigger than that on film, but it's not. We're going to take our Crisco, take a, about a good tablespoon or two, and we're going to grease the whole bottom of this and the sides. Now, this right here is what's going to help give it its crust. Okay, set that aside. All right, right here in my bowl, I've got two cups of the cornmeal mix. I'm going to put in one egg. Okay, now I'm going to take my Crisco. Mama said she always put about a half a cup in, so we're going in with a half a cup of Crisco. Just get it in there. Let me tell you this before I continue on. Before you added the egg, you could have put this Crisco in there and used your pastry blender. I would have done that on the show, but believe it or not, I've done this a lot. I leave it at home. I'm going to make it like Mama made it, mix it with my hand and everything. But just know, you can use those pastry blenders before you put your egg in to incorporate your Crisco into your cornmeal. That'll make it easy too. You won't have to put your hands all in this. Because after that, you can mix the rest out with a spoon. Okay, so we got two cups of cornmeal. We got one egg. We got a half a cup of Crisco. Now we're going to get our milk ready. Mama usually put in about a good cup. If a cup won't do it, you can just add a little bit more as you need it. I'm going to go ahead and put the whole cup in it. All right. Now, if you're going to mix this by hand, you need to have you some paper towels or something handy. So I'm going to get me some handy right quickly. Put everything to the side. All right, let's get down in here. What we're doing now is making sure this Crisco is incorporated all, with all of this. Mix it real good. Get your egg mixed up real good. Everybody, this right here is an essential to know how to do in the kitchen, just like the biscuits I showed you. You got it going on if you can just simply make some good old cornbread. Lord in mercy, with some good, put it in some good sweet milk or even buttermilk. Some meal on its own. And what we're doing, we're going to get in here and mix this up. So I got my fingers like that. I'm just mixing this all up real good. I've got my stove over there preheating 425. And this is going to cook approximately 20 minutes. But I'm going to do it like this, see, and squeeze it through my hands. That's going to make sure that Crisco is getting incorporated real good. Get that stuff mixed well. It's this simple, everybody. It really is. To make a good cake of cornbread. You know, I've never made cornbread in a 12 inch cast iron pan simply because a 10 inch is enough. It's always been enough for our family. But if you use a 12 inch pan, you, you'd, have to, you'd have to have more than this. Okay, see, so I've got it all mixed up well. Got it all over my fingers. <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands right quick and get me a spatula and finish this with a spatula. Before I wash my hands, though, I'm going to use a, just a simple knife, a little safety knife, spoon, or anything like that, and get all this goodness off my hands. See that? That ain't going down the sink. Now, if you're a young mom out there, learn this technique. Your babies will absolutely love it all their life. They'll never forget this cornbread. All right, let's go wash my hands. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now we're going to use a spatula. We're going to get our cornbread pan over here. Get all this goodness off the side. Give it a couple more turns. Now that I know I've got the Crisco broke up well in it, 
Then we're simply going to transfer it over into our 10 inch cast iron pan that has been pre-greased with Crisco. Okay. Now we're simply going to smooth it out a little bit. This recipe is perfect for a 10 inch cast iron pan. It really is. Just smooth that stuff on out. Mom always says she likes to jiggle it back and forth. So let's do that. Okay, there it is. Simple as that. See that? Perfect for a 10 inch cast iron pan. All right, let's go to our preheated oven at 425 for about 20 minutes. Okay, our happy buzzer's going off. Let's go get it. Oh, look at this, y'all. Look how pretty that is. You're talking about golden southern cornbread? There you go. And the way you Crisco your 10 inch cast iron pan, what's this? Simply get your plate, put it on top of it, Turn it over. Look at that, everybody. <laughs> oh my goodness. It makes the perfect cornbread every time. That simple little recipe is all it takes. Now, if you go over and watch Mama's video, Mama adds about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of sugar to her cornbread. She always did that. I like it, but you know, I really can't tell the difference when it's not in there with just that much. But let me tell you what I do. If I know I'm gonna be eating this with sweet milk, I'll put about a tablespoon of sugar in this stuff. Yes, I will. Make it just a tad, I'm talking about just a tad sweet. And of course, there's all kinds of things you can do to this. You can add onions to it. You see me doing the cracklings with it. Same recipe, just had cracklings. You can add all kinds of stuff into this cornbread. You can make Mexican cornbread, adding bell peppers, peppers, onions, Anything you need to add to it, you can add to this and it'll make it great. Let me slice it. Let me show you how it looks before I go. All right, let's get us a slice of this. <whistles> Stuff's hot. All right. Look at that, y'all. How perfect that is. Perfectly done on the inside. It's not crumbly. It's not trying to fall apart on you. Thanks to that Crisco. Look how pretty that is. It is so good. Got you a good crust going on it. Y'all know I ain't got to taste this. You know what it tastes like by looking at it. Look at that pretty. I just want to thank everybody again today that watched this. Try this, but not only try it, learn this. Learn to make the cornbread and the biscuits. Those are the two bread essentials in the kitchen. Very soon I'm going to show you how to make yeast rolls and things with yeast in it. Pie crust. Y'all, it's all so easy. May take you a time or two of practice. Don't be discouraged. But try this cornbread. It's a no fail. Y'all seen how easy it was. If I can do it, you can do it. Young moms, introduce your kids to this cornbread if you ain't never made it. If you've always bought cornbread from the grocery store, that's some good stuff. But try it homemade. That way you can make the crust as dark as you want it. <laughs> Thank y'all again for watching today on Country Board Cooking with Marshall, where Jesus is Lord of all.